So the animal today is excellent elephants. Um, it does say that they had sound difficulties, but if you skip to the four minute mark, those issues are resolved. Um, Elephantastic art. Watch the video below by Cincinnati Inquirer illustrator Kevin Necessary to learn how to draw an elephant. You can also download the step-by-step -step instructions or this finished drawing to color. So there's the step-by-step -step instructions. And I can attach this for you or the finished drawing. So I'm going to open those up and I'll attach those for you if you want to use them. We want to see your elephant drawings. So here are some that people have already done and submitted. And here is the video. Hi, I'm Kevin Necessary, editorial cartoonist at the Cincinnati Inquirer. Today we're in my home studio and we've partnered with the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden to bring you this tutorial on how to draw elephants. I love visiting the Cincinnati Zoo and I really love the elephants. They are amazing creatures, they're huge, they're intelligent, uh, they're just really cool. Uh, the Cincinnati Zoo has four Asian elephants, three females and one male. And today, we're going to draw a female Asian elephant. Now, before we get started, we're going to need some art supplies. Okay, maybe we don't really need that many art supplies. What we do need is a pencil and an eraser. Just a regular sheet of paper. That's all you really need. Nothing fancy. Also, it might help if you went online and you found some images of Asian elephants. Reference photos will help you keep all the details right. Now, it took me about 20 minutes in real time to draw this elephant. Now, we don't have 20 minutes in the video, so we sped it up a little bit. However, I promise, if you watch the video, you're going to see all the steps that you need to draw this elephant. I hope you have fun, Now let's get into the drawing. I begin sketching very lightly, working out the big shapes. I made the head a rectangle and added in a cross line just so I know where to place the other shapes on the head once we get a little bit further down the drawing. Her body is an egg shape, and her legs are tapered cylinders, and the feet are ovals. I drew her ears as trapezoids, which I place right in the middle halfway down each side of her head. If you don't know what a trapezoid is, ask your geometry teacher. You can see I'm always refining my sketch and I draw a curvy noodle for her trunk. Her trunk is wider by her face and thinner at the end. I'm just roughing everything in. It's okay to make mistakes at this stage and erase. I do it throughout the drawing. Use the cross line that you drew on the elephant's head to place her eyes. Elephants have bulges around their eyes and you can see one sticking out on the side of her head. Asian elephants have two bumps on their heads, so I draw those in too. Now I'm going to work on the trunk and mouth. An elephant's mouth is a downward pointing triangle. As you can see, I'm still erasing as I go and tightening up the lines. Next, I'm going to refine the shape of the legs. An elephant's legs just aren't straight up and down lines. They're skinnier at the bottom by the feet than they are up at the top, just like a human's. Uh-oh, I almost forgot to add her tail. Now we have most of our lines in. We'll keep erasing the light sketch lines we started with because we don't need them. As we do that, we'll darken in the lines that we do want to keep, adding in even more details like the pupils of her eyes, the lines of her ears, and her toes. I add little lines to show the wrinkles on her trunk and knees. At this point, you can be done. Or you can take a pen and marker and ink in the black lines. When you're done with that, erase all the pencil lines. Finally, don't forget to sign your artwork. 
I really hope you had fun with this tutorial. I can't wait to see what elephants you've drawn.